Hi everybody, everybody I'm back. Never mind my background, everything's kind of discombobulated and all over the place because we're packing. We're packing because you all know, you know that I'm gonna be moving soon. But anyways, today, today Gina Young is gonna show you all how to make a very quick, simple, and delicious matzo ball soup. Have you all had it before? If you've had it before, let me know in the, um, in the message section if you've had it and what your experience was. I grew up on it and I have my mouth and my stomach ready for this matzo ball soup. Here's what you're gonna need to make Gina Young style matzo ball soup. Okay, everybody, if you hear a little bit of noise in the background, please forgive me. It's just my dishwasher. I have my dishwasher running. You will need a whole roaster chicken. This here is a whole chicken that I just cut up into pieces, okay? So then, you will need celery stalks, and I've washed my celery stalks with a little bit of salt and cold water. To make the matzo balls, you will need matzo ball mix. On the back of the box of the matzo ball mix, it will tell you what you're going to need to make up your mix. It all depends on if you get this name brand, this is the ingredients you'll need. If you find another name brand, it might cause for different ingredients. So for this one, you're going to need two eggs, two tablespoons of vegetable oil, all right? And that's what you need to make up your matzo balls. There's the name brand. You are going to need the eggs and the oil. You will need an onion as well as fresh carrots. You will need a chicken bouillon, and this is a bigger one that I have. I have one large chicken bouillon that we're going to use, and I'm going to use the whole bouillon, okay? You will also need cracked black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, parsley flakes. You will need sea salt. And I'm also going to use some Maggi Pollo. Maggi Pollo is a chicken flavored bouillon that's absolutely amazing. And you're also going to need some Herbs de Provence. Okay? Now, over here, here's my pan that I'm going to use. And you can see that I filled my pan up with cold water. I want to bring this water up to a boil. I'm going to go ahead and Turn this on medium-high. Medium-high will be the heat that we cook this on. Now, the first thing that you want to do is make sure that your hands are impeccably clean. I hope that you all are having a great Saturday. Hope you all have had a great work week as well. Anybody doing anything special this weekend? Let me know in the comment section below. What I'm going to do, we're going to go ahead and take our chicken that I've cleaned. I've cleaned my chicken with lime, salt, and cold water. We're going to put our leg and thigh in, as well as our breast and our wing. We're going to put the other breast and wing with the skin on and the other leg and thigh. Okay, now we're going to bring that up to a boil until that chicken starts to cook. That chicken is going to cook up. Let me wash my hands. Anytime you're dealing with, anytime you are dealing with raw chicken or any raw. Okay, everyone, sorry about that. I wanted to answer my phone, but now you can see that I changed pans. And the reason why I changed pans was because I didn't feel like my pan was big enough. So now I'm using my wok and the water's not gonna overflow with all of that chicken. So we have our chicken in our water. We have our water turned on medium high heat only. All right, now here's what we're gonna need to do. Come over this way and we're gonna get our matzo balls made. You're gonna need the two eggs, you will need two tablespoons of vegetable oil, okay? So we're gonna get that in just like so, and I'm gonna do a little bit over the teaspoon because this is a teaspoon here, okay? Let's mix up our eggs 
in our oil, just like so. This right here is very, very simple to do. I'm telling you one thing, if you are a lover, if you are a lover of dumplings, you're definitely gonna love this. Me personally, I love a good dumpling, especially chicken and dumplings. And this is this recipe puts you in the mind frame of chicken and dumplings. Watch this, watch how simple. So combine your eggs and your oil, just like so, sorry about the noise. And then we're going to open up our box of matzo mix. We're gonna mix this up with a fork. Let me grab my scissors here. And then we're gonna let this mixture chill. Okay, look at this. It's just one packet that comes in it. Just like that. Take and mix your matzo mix with your eggs and oil, just like so. And we're gonna let this chill for 15 minutes. If you wanted to use two boxes, absolutely you can. Okay, it's really up to your discretion. But I'm not gonna make too big of a, a meal because we're having another meal today. You can see I have another unopened box of matzo mix if you wanted to use two boxes, all right? I'm just gonna use one today. Now this right here, you, you all might look at this and say, well, that looks like a little bit, Gina. What are you gonna do with that? I'm gonna show you, it's so interesting. Put this bad boy in the refrigerator, let it chill for 15 minutes. Okay, everybody, so this right here, what we are making right here is we're making one beautiful chicken broth, okay? And we're cooking our chicken. Let's go ahead and season up our chicken broth. I like to season mines with onion powder. Oh, absolutely. Let's see here. Just get you some in there. You know, some of you might say, but how much and how do I know if I have enough? Well, when it gets cooked, you're gonna taste it. This is black pepper. And if you're happy with the seasonings, then you don't have to put any more seasoning in. But if you're not, you keep putting that seasoning in until you're happy. We're gonna put some garlic powder in. Oh yeah, baby, you have to have garlic powder, right? Just like so. Put you a little bit of sea salt, don't get crazy with it. That's enough, that's enough. Parsley flakes, because parsley makes everything beautiful. Is the parsley gonna give it flavor? No, not really, but it's gonna give it a nice, beautiful color. Now, we're gonna wait for the Maggi Pollo. We're not gonna put the Maggi Pollo in just yet. Not until after I taste everything, because I might be satisfied with the taste. You know, cause that chicken, the bones of the chicken, the skin of the chicken, it gives so much flavor. And you achieve a nice, beautiful chicken broth by using chicken that has skin on it and the bone in. The bones and the skin and the chicken meat is gonna give you a lovely chicken broth, okay? This right here is gonna to help to give such a nice, rich, beautiful chicken broth. This chicken broth is gonna be so tasty. All right, put your chicken bouillon in, just like so. We're gonna add a little bit of Herbes de Provence. And, and literally, seriously guys, don't get crazy with the Herbes de Provence. Just a little bit, see that? That's all you're gonna need. Cause that little bit of dried spice, it goes a long way. Trust me when I tell you this, okay? All right, now let's make our way over to our chopping board and we want to chop up our celery and the carrots that I have. You can see that my carrots are already chopped up and I love that beautiful look. Okay, so I buy mine this way. These come in the produce section and you can also find them in the uh, frozen section as well. So we have our chicken, our seasonings, and our water cooking up with the chicken bouillon. Have you all ever seen such a garlic clove? Just one single garlic clove this big. Look at that bad boy. Beautiful, my word. Let's give this a whack, okay? And the reason why I give it a whack is because this 
will help to take the skin off. If you don't give it a whack, guess what? You're gonna be trying to peel for days and get the skin off of here. Since this garlic clove is so huge, I'm not gonna use the whole thing, okay? Because honestly, I don't wanna smell like garlic for 50 days. <laughs> and I'm so serious. I love garlic until my heart is content, but I don't wanna smell like it for 25 days. We're gonna use that much in this right here. I'm just gonna put in a little bit of plastic wrap and put it away until tomorrow. Maybe I can use it for a dish tomorrow. So we're just gonna chop this up, just like so, okay? You don't have to chop it into really fine pieces because as long as we're gonna cook this broth, this garlic is gonna get nice and soft, okay? So just a, just a little chop is just fine, all right? Just like so. All right, now let's get the garlic into our pot. Meet me over this way, camera. Put your garlic in your pot, just like so. Flavor, we're building flavor on top of flavor on top of flavor, you hear me? If y'all never had this before, you better make you some, cause this right here, oh my goodness. If you don't make it, you are definitely missing out, you hear me? Now, I've washed my celery. You always have to wash your celery, okay? You have to. And if you don't, you're gonna have mud and dirt and sand in your celery, okay? I like to chop up kind of big pieces, sorta, kinda. I'm not really a fan of celery, but when you make a um, chicken and dumplings, any type of chicken soup or matzo ball soup, you absolutely have to have you some celery in your matzo ball soup. So we're gonna use that, and later I might go back and put some more in, we'll just see. So for now, for a beautiful broth, we're gonna put half of the celery in. Some of the celery is just gonna disintegrate into flavor land, okay? It's just gonna get so soft that it disintegrates, okay? It's gonna get so smushy. There's that, that's flavor. This right here, we'll put that in later. All right, like I said, we might even double back and grab a little bit more celery, but we'll just see. All depends on how I feel. Okay, so then I have a nice, beautiful onion. I don't suggest using the red onion. A lot of people call them purple onions, whatever you want to call it. I don't suggest using that because when you use the red or the purple onion, what happens is the color comes off. And you would hate to have a matzo ball soup that's um, has a funny looking color. You want for your broth to be nice and clear, okay? All right, sorry about that. I was throwing that in the trash. And then, let's go ahead and cut some of our onion. We'll put some onion in now, and we'll put some onion in later, okay? Just like we're gonna do with the celery. Some goes in now, and some will go in later. The onion is gonna go in now. It's gonna disintegrate into Flavorland as well. Okay? And I like to chop mine up kinda medium. Not too big and not too small. You don't wanna bite down into huge pieces of onion, okay? But you do wanna be able to taste it. Okay, I might not use this whole onion here. We're just gonna put a little bit in to flavor our chicken broth. And that right there, oh, absolutely, that's enough. Let's put that in there. All flavor, we're building flavors here, guys. Get that in there, just like so. Beautiful, and I tell you one thing, this has only been cooking for a good 10 minutes, and yet my whole house smells so good right now. It smells like, just it just smells so hearty. Hometown. Uh, do I want to say hometown? <laughs> Is that the word that I'm looking for? Maybe not. Maybe homemade is the word that I'm looking for. Look at this. Just stir down in there. We're making one heck of a broth. Okay? Just like so. And make sure your water's not too high because your water will definitely overflow. And we don't want that to happen. Medium high heat. We're gonna let this cook up. Let this cook up until your chicken is well done. And your chicken should be done in probably about 40 minutes. But when it's done, I'll come back and I'll let you know exactly how long it took for my chicken to get done. 
Okay, everybody, take a look at our beautiful broth. This broth smells so good. It's been cooking for 15 minutes, and you know, 15 minutes, our chicken's not done, but we're making progress. We have a beautiful broth here, and not to worry about this frothiness at the top, because we're gonna take a spoon and we're gonna take all of that bubbly frothiness, we'll take it off, and we'll just keep dipping it out until we get it all off and we'll be, uh, and then we'll have a nice clear broth, all right? So don't worry about that. We're gonna cook this bad boy longer. Now, what I wanted to do, let's come over this way. You can see I cut up a little bit more celery and I cut up the onions. That's gonna go in later with our beautiful um, carrots. Now, let's turn around and make some matzo balls. Matzo balls, very simple to make. You're gonna take you some. And what I did, I said one thing wrong. Inside of each package of your matzo ball mix, you're gonna have two packages. I believe uh, earlier I said one package. And each package will make nine to 12 matzo balls, okay? You just literally take them. If you wanted to wet your hands or oil your hands, you can. You're just gonna take them and you're gonna make balls just like this. Just set them there. After you make your desired amount, you can make them as big as you want or as small as you want. After you have the desired amount, then we're gonna put them back in the refrigerator, okay? And you just cover them with a little bit of foil or you can cover them with uh, plastic wrap, whatever you want to, okay? Make them any size you want. You can make these things tiny if you want. Make them large if you want. But the thing is that they will grow. They will grow once you put them into your, your broth. Matzo balls 101. Look at this, look how simple. Simple, and here's the thing, you can let the kids help you with this. Absolutely you can. Okay, me personally, I don't care what size they are. I just go at them. I just kind of make the balls and whatever size they turn out, hey, listen here, I'm happy. All right, you wanna try to mix them up quickly because you don't want for your matzo balls to get hot. All right, you wanna mix them up and throw them in the refrigerator until your chicken broth is done. Now, there are some people that like to leave their chicken pieces whole. Um, I know if you're a person that's gonna use, say you don't use a whole chicken like I do, and you just use all chicken wings, then what you would do is you would just leave your chicken wings whole. And you don't have to pull the skin off, or um, yeah, you don't have to pull the meat off, all right? But since I'm using the whole chicken, I am gonna go in and take some pieces out um, I might leave one or two whole pieces in there, but most of them, I'm going to take them out of the broth, take the skin off, and take the meat apart, pull the meat apart, and then once I get all the meat pulled apart, I will shred the meat and throw it back in our beautiful broth. See that there? Make as many as you want. One pack gives you a lot, okay? And remember, these are gonna swell. This dumpling is amazing and it, it just, oh, it just melts in your mouth like butter. You hear me? Woo, it's so good. Mm, mm, mm. See this here? Don't worry about the size. Make whatever size you want. Don't make them too big though, because these things will get huge in your pan. You hear me? And let's see how many I have. I really didn't count them. Really, I didn't. Let's see. That one pack, it looked like a tiny bit when we were mixing it, right? Absolutely it did. Let's see, so I have three, six, nine, 12, I got 13. Maybe one more is gonna give me 14, okay? Nice. And if I would have made them bigger, I would have had maybe nine or eight, but that's okay, right? Just like so, beautiful. Matzo balls, very simple, very quick, lots of fun to make. Throw this in the refrigerator until our broth is done. And I'm just gonna cover it with a little bit of plastic wrap. 
Okay, everybody, look at this beautifulness. Now, what I want to do, I want to go in, I want to give this a taste so we can see what our broth tastes like. And if by chance we need to reseason it, then we're going to reseason this bad boy, okay? So now's the time you go in, you give it a taste, and see what it tastes like. Okay, that's what I'm going to do right now. Let's see. Remember, don't worry about this frothiness at the top. We're going to skim all that off, all right? That's going to happen when you boil chicken. Naturally, it just happens. Oh, mm-hmm. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I promise it tastes so good. So now, what I am going to do, I'm going to go ahead and put some Maggie Pollo in there. That's enough. I wanted to put a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of black pepper, and I'm happy. Absolutely, it has the best flavor. My goodness. Okay, so this has been cooking for 35 minutes. Here in about five minutes, I am going to take our chicken out, some of the chicken. All right, we're gonna debone it and take the skin off. And then once we do that, before we put our chicken that we've deboned, back in, we're gonna skim the top. So what we're gonna do, give it five more minutes to cook. I'll show you how I like to debone it and take the skin off. We're gonna leave a couple of big pieces in there because myself and my son, we like to just take, let me show you. <laughs> Don't judge me guys. Seriously, when I have matzo balls, I like to put a piece. Let's see if I can grab it with this. I like to put a piece like this in my bowl. You hear me? Absolutely. Not deboned or de-skinned. I like to put that at the bottom of my bowl. I'll put some of this beautiful broth that's going to have the onions and celery and the carrots in there. And then I'll put me some matzo balls on top. Now these other pieces, I will, I will take the, the meat out. But I do want to leave a couple pieces whole. Beautiful. My goodness. Ooh, wait, my mouth is watery. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, everybody, you can see my beautiful meat that I have here. Look at this beautifulness. Look at it. Let's put it right in this pan. Beautiful. I'm so excited. Oh, my goodness. I cannot be more excited. Hold on, guys. Let me fix my camera. <clears throat> I could not be more excited for a recipe. It's been so many years. And you see, I left that big hole one in there for me. Scrape this down into there, just like so. All right, beautiful, my word. Now here's what we're gonna do. I wanna put a little bit more water in because some of our broth has evaporated. Okay, everybody, so what I'm doing right here is I'm skimming off some of the fat that's on top and some of that frothy stuff. And really, it'll just collect in your spoon or whatever you decide to use. Just skim off that extra oil that you don't want and skim off that frothiness. And you can see that I've put my chicken in. We have all of our spices. We have one beautiful, beautifully seasoned broth and I have that big piece left in there that I want to munch on. See this here? Beautiful. I'm going to skim this maybe three more times. Okay, let's get down to the nitty gritty. Let's put this in here. Celery and onions going in. You want to put your matzo balls in. And we're going to put these in the last five to seven minutes because you never want to cook don't overcook your carrots because you can overcook your carrots and they'll be mush and we don't want that. So now let's grab our matzo balls. These celery and onions, all they need is a little while to cook. The other ones that cooked earlier that we put in, those were for flavor. Like I told you all in the beginning, they just kind of disintegrated. These matzo balls here, throw them in and watch what happens. Watch what happens with these beautiful matzo balls. Like I said, the last maybe five to seven minutes, we'll get the carrots in there and you put as much as you want in yours. Me personally, I'm not really a fan of carrots, but I will put the carrots in and I will eat them. 
um, but I'm not going to put a whole lot in. Just put your matzo balls in wherever they fall. That's how we do this. Now, you want to cover, you want to cover this with foil. You can use a lid as well. Right now, I don't know where my lid is, <laughs> but that's okay. Just cover it up with foil, nice and tightly, okay? Now, these matzo balls need to cook for 15 to 20 minutes. And yes, they're gonna get big. And that's what you want them to do. They're going to get nice and fluffy, and they're going to be so flavored with this beautiful broth and seasonings and chicken that we have in here. This right here is a chicken, a winner, winner chicken dinner for sure. 20 minutes, and I'll be back. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, everybody, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This is what your matzo balls should look like. Nice and fluffy and pillowy. Nice, fluffy and pillowy. Now let's go ahead, put your carrots in, however much you want in there. I put some parsley in there and I taste it one more time and I felt like I needed a little bit more salt. Now what we're gonna do, when you make these, remember, remember, when you make these matzo balls, you always wanna cover them so that they can cook correctly, okay? So that's why I put my foil on there nice and tight. This will be done in about seven minutes. All I'm looking for is for my carrots to get nice and soft. And then we'll say a prayer over this. We're gonna give it a taste and I'm gonna let y'all know what it tastes like. Look at this, everybody. Everything is done. And you can see in my bowl that I've been eating the matzo balls already. Look how nice and beautiful and fluffy it is. My goodness. <clears throat> Let's say a blessing over this so we can dig in. May God bless this meal. Lord, we thank you for this meal today. We thank you for your love time, your mercy, your understanding, and your blessings. We pray that you send your angels down to surround us day and night and your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Please give us peace over our mind. We pray that no weapons formed against the young family shall prosper. We bind the devil away from us in Jesus' name. And we Thank you, Lord, for the roof over our head, the food that you feed us, and the love that you give us daily. Amen. Let's make us a plate. Let's dig in. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Woo, I'm excited. My goodness. Here's what we're going to do. Get you some of that nice, beautiful broth. Let me show you the broth. <clears throat> Let me show you this beautiful broth. My goodness, I'm going to get my broth in there and my veggies as well. Let's start putting some matzo balls in. Look at that. I swear to you all, I can eat about eight of these matzo balls or more, <laughs> maybe 10 in one setting. They're so delicious, amazing. The chicken is beautiful. Let me show you this chicken. Look at that. My goodness, listen here. You all never had this. You have to try it. You have to. Woo, you gotta try this. You gotta try this, girl. Look at that. One more, give me one more. <clears throat> There's a big, healthy, fluffy one. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord, for this meal. Beautiful meal. Matzo balls, let's dig in. Hooey, my mouth is watering, guys. I am so ready for that. Let me focus one more time down into my pan so that I can get a good thumbnail picture, okay? Let's see what we can do. Beautiful, there's a good picture right there. Beautiful. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Now, I won't be holding this bowl up to the camera. Normally I will. But this bowl is steaming hot. And I don't want to burn the daylights out of my fingers. So we got to be careful, okay? Let's go. First thing that I want, I want you all to taste this beautiful broth. This broth is beautiful alone. You hear me? Look at that. Well seasoned. All that's flavor. Flavor. 
Mm. Oh my goodness, you hear me? My goodness, one more, one more, one more. Mm, 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 mm. Girl, you done outdid yourself. You hear me? <clears throat> mm, mm, mm. Let's taste our chicken. Beautiful. Oh, mm, 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 mm. Hoo wee! I gotta be careful because I it's so hot. I didn't give this five minutes to cool down. Okay. My goodness. Hoo wee! Come on, chicken. <clears throat> Look at that. Look at that beautiful, nice and healthy. This right here is what I call a hearty meal. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm. Alright. <clears throat> Matzo ball time. Look how fluffy and beautiful. My goodness, is this amazing or what? Please let me know in the in the message section if you all have never had this before or if you've had it. Let me know your experience with this. This is one of the best things on earth that you can ever put in your mouth. At least Gina Young style it is. I'm telling you all, I'm so serious. Run out to the store right now. Run out to Walmart, grab you some matzo ball mix and make you some. All right, I'm going in. Girl, you better. I just wish it wasn't this hot. It's so hot. My goodness. Get you some chicken. Get you some chicken and the meat, the matzo ball. Mm. Man, that's good. God bless you all. Have a great night. Thank you all for watching. Good night. Ooh, that's good. My goodness. Mm.